What's up YouTube? It's Mr. Not So Good and I'm doing a mod review on Bacon's Drift Part by J Bundle for the ETK series and what we're looking at is my pre-safe figuration for drifting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn a few laps and then after I turn a few laps, I'm going to turn the drift parts on and then we're going to see the difference that it makes. Now, I will say, I, I'm no eSports driver, but I have been a, around racing games for a minute. I'm playing on a controller. I can't afford a sim rig, and YouTube doesn't seem to want to promote my videos, so I'm just going to be stuck with the controller for a while, I assume. Sorry. Anyway, we're going to get into modding this. Uh, as you can see, I just spun out. Basically, what this drift kit has is more angle and more drifty boy parts to make your drifting experience better. So we're just going to dive straight into that, scroll all the way down here to suspension. There's a few body kits and stuff that uh, we need to go through, but that's a lot of sorting. Right now we're just worried about how the car handles. So we're going to go to front suspension. We're just going to drop down the rear suspension tab too while we're at it. Steering. I, I assume we have, this is where we find our better steering. Power steering, no. The angle's not here. Quick ratio, quick ratio, drift steering, that's the default. I don't know what to do. Okay, so differential. Do we we don't need a front diff. It's, we're not we're not real wheel drive drifting. Power steering. I guess we'll run power steering. I don't know where I'm supposed to find these drift parts. Um is this even the ETKI? ETKI series. Or is it for the ETK? No, it's for the ETKI. Where the where are all my drift parts at? Go down here to front suspension and we drop this bar down, which is not what I thought how we would change the parts out. But okay. Uh revised drift independent suspension. I guess we're gonna go with the revised one, and that in theory should give us stupid angle. Yeah, that does look like pretty stupid angle. So that's exactly what we're looking for. Uh I set it up for the race coilovers allegedly we have drift coilovers now no we don't we don't have any drift suspension i think he said the mod creator was working on that uh drift steering revised more angle okay yeah let's go ahead and run that power steering let's go ahead and run that as well rear suspension can we change up anything at all no we can't i don't think we got anything yeah it's all the in independent stuff Now there's there is a whole body kit that he said came with the mod, but I don't like sorting through and doing body mods because then you got to do every single matching piece or it looks like boo boo garbage. So we're just gonna run the angle, and I'm gonna give y'all a quick census of what the angle is like, and uh, set it up and give y'all my opinion on it. It makes it significantly easier to drive this. This is a big, big improvement. If you're looking into uh, drifting and beam, I would definitely recommend this mod as it's, I just crashed into a tree. I fricked it up. Let's try it again. Oh, this is, this is really, really cool. I like how this thing handles. This is a beautiful setup. Okay, I've never been around this leg of the course before. Okay, this thing handles great. A little bouncy, but that's just me having to set up really stiff in the rear end. Normally, I would have it a lot stiffer, but Beam and G-Drive like to be really realistic with their suspension tuning. Yeah, the angle makes it amazing times better. I'm going to throw a cinematic camera on, get you all a really cool lap for this, and then I'm going to go ahead and call it and end the video because I don't think anyone watches over four minutes of my content anyways. Alrighty, so this here is a cinematic clip I produced for y'all. And so the mod creator did ask for some constructive criticism for the mod and my constructive criticism would be making the parts easier accessible so it's not as much of a headache to sort through them and what we really need inside beam is a, a tire model 
and it really encourages drifting because there's no really good tire model for drifting the the drift tires don't have a side bite and all the sport tires and the race tires have way too much forward bite and it's a really tough awkward balance to get the proper grip levels that you desire so what we truly need is a all-around drift tire that works for a plethora of wheel sizes that's what we're looking for but all in all the angle kit feels realistic there wasn't many times where i did spin out and i had a lot of more control over the vehicle this is a great mod and i would definitely recommend you installing it thank y'all so much for watching this video i'm mr not so good and i'm gonna check out of this one catch you on the flip side